What's going on guys, Cameron Fitness here and today I'm back with a new video and this is going to be all about how to train your calves and get the best out of your calf training. So I have tried so long experimenting and I finally done a little bit of research and found out what the best method of training your calves is. So before we go into training your calves you need to understand why it's so hard to grow your calves. So the further down your body you go, the fewer androgen receptors you have. And these are mediators for kind of like your growth hormone, so your testosterone. So that's why when you see people go on steroids or inject themselves with additional testosterone, that they develop the traps in comparison to the rest of the body a lot further. But a lot of people will differ with calf results based on primarily genetics. A lot of people have different insertion points with the calves, and if you've got a higher insertion point, it means your calf is going to look smaller. Genetics can also play a massive part in calf development in terms of whether you're naturally born with calves. Um, I had a friend of mine who never trained calf in his life and his calves were ridiculously big in comparison to someone like me or uh, a couple of other bodybuilders who have actually trained calves at a nice steady pace but for some reason have really really struggled with the development. You also need to understand the characteristics of your calf muscles. So it's split into two muscles, the soleus and the gastrocnemius, but they're a mixture of type one and type two muscle fibers. So that means you need to be mixing up and hitting your high reps, low weight load, and high weight load, low reps. And finally, I think that exercise selection plays a massive part in the development of your calves. Uh, a lot of people do calf exercises, but they won't get the proper range of motion and they won't get the proper stretch on my calf. And as you know, stretch is a massive factor in muscle growth. So I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to show you a couple of good exercises for developing your calves, really getting that good stretch. Um, and then I'll also be telling you a couple of rep ranges and stuff that I focus on in my routine to really help. Let's go! So I'll always train calves at the end of my leg day training program. Um, with this one you're getting a little bit of a two for one because you're doing a Romanian deadlift and it primarily targets your hamstring but if you look closely I've put plates at the front of my toe so straight away you're starting in that calf stretching position. So you're going to keep your back nice and straight, you're going to run the barbell down your body as close to your knees as possible and then you're going to shoot straight back up in a nice powerful motion. So you should feel a massive stretch on your hamstring and also on your calf. So in terms of form, imagine that you're a seesaw, so your chest and bar are going down but your bum is going back and out and that will help you keep a straight back. So your next exercise is going to be a calf extension but on the seated leg press. When I'm in the gym and I see a lot of people training calves, so many people forget about that full contraction and that full range of motion. So you're going to extend your legs with a slight bend in your knees and if you notice as well my heels are just off of the pad and that will help you with your stretch. So the main thing to remember is when you're in your fully contracted state you need to squeeze your calves as much as possible and that maximal contraction combined with your maximal stretch will recruit as many muscle fibres as possible. And your final exercise is just going to be a standing calf press um, and I've included the step in there just to ensure that you're getting that full range of motion just like on the seated calf extension as shown earlier. So you're getting that full stretch and then again at the top you're going to squeeze as hard as possible. Previous research has shown that 20 sets per week when training calves is optimal for growth. So per week I'll try to go for 10 sets with increased weight load and then 10 sets with increased repetitions but reduced weight load. The normal level, you gotta have size, here. age, length, you gotta have some attributes. You could be anywhere equal to me, I'm gonna rip your whole head off.
Hello darkness, my old friend. I can't believe I've gone this far for a video. I've come to talk with you again. Then, <sighs> now what the fuck do I do with these? My mother's not going to be happy with that, is she? Oh, it's all stuck to me. <sighs> I, I really can't believe I've gone this far for a video. How do I stop recording? Still recording. Look how far I've gone for a video. Like and subscribe. And cut.